Now, I'm very excited to welcome to Concordia Janine Uzel, Chief Operating Officer at Wikimedia Foundation. Janine, welcome. Hi there. How are you today? I'm so good. Look, we're going to get right to the point because this is a lightning interview. Right. Back in the spring, Concordia sent out a message to our community uh, in the peak of the Black Lives Matter movement saying, here are some actionable steps we can take. Feel free to let us know if you want to join us. And you emailed right back and said, count me in. So tell me, what have the last few months looked like at Wikimedia in terms of uh, things that you've done to address systemic racism, both in your workforce and also on your platform? Well, first of all, just uh, really quick for your audience, the Wikimedia Foundation is the organization that hosts Wikipedia and many of the other wiki products. So uh, I just wanted to make sure you had clarification on who we are. We are um, we're the, the machine and, and partners with our community that lead Wikipedia. You know, Kevin, we've been working on uh, a lot. And what I really want to say is, you know, we had written a racial justice statement and the CEO and I, Catherine, when we talked about what this statement needed to be as a black woman in tech, I, you know, we needed to say something powerful and how it would impact our organization as an operations person, I wanted to make sure we could measure it. And so when we released the statement to share our commitment to racial justice, we determined it was more than a statement. There were nine actions that we planned to take across the departments of the foundation in our technology, our policies, our governance, what we do internally, how we hire and promote. And um, we highlighted and put out a call to action to other groups that were committed to this work that wanted to join us in racial justice on the platform of free knowledge. And and what was the response like? How how has it been the last few months? Did you get positive responses? Was it difficult? <laughs> So first of all, internally, we're working on, uh, we've designed an equity council uh, task force within our organization. We're committed to measuring the current OKRs, the way that we deliver on our work in the organization, and measuring it, putting an equity lens over it. Externally, we're definitely supporting some of the affiliates and the groups that already do work on Wikipedia from an equity standpoint, groups like Black Lunch Table or Wiki Women in Red that write about women and, and diverse topics. And then we're looking to, to continue to help people understand how they can be a part of the movement and how we continue to tell stories that are diverse and have power. But we have to make this a priority, not just in Wikipedia, but all of us that are involved in technology need to understand the power of diverse voices and the equity that it will have on the work that we do and the platforms that we serve. Yeah, absolutely. And can you talk a little bit about the platform itself of, you know, Wikipedia, which I'm sure everybody watching knows very well and probably has already gone to a few times today after hearing conversations and wanting to look up more information on something. Mm -hmm. And this concept of knowledge equity, what does that look like? So, you know, the thing about Wikipedia is that we are a resource, an encyclopedic resource that serves the world. It's free knowledge. We we don't, um, obviously, it's, it's a service that is free. Anyone can access it. And then the editors, the community that's a part of Wikipedia, they are the hundreds of thousands of volunteers that serve to ensure that the information on Wikipedia is powerful and available. We need to continue to partner to diversify those voices. We want to continue to make sure that we create a space that is open and welcoming and thriving so that our community looks like the world that we serve. Um, in terms of you know, its relation to social justice and what's been happening recently in the world, what happens in the world happens on Wikipedia. So Wikipedia articles about the Black Lives Matter movement are in over 50 languages now. Uh, on June 19th, over 2.1 million people visited the Wikipedia page about Juneteenth to learn more about a holiday that celebrates emancipation of slavery. Kamala Harris's Wikipedia page was viewed 8.6 million times in the 48 hours after she was announced as the Democratic VP. So, I mean, listen, if it's happening in the world, it's happening here. We assume on Wikipedia, we assume good faith, we assume 
that uh, we want to continue to work with the world media so that we can have the citations and the content that makes uh, the, the information on Wikipedia as powerful and accurate as it is. And then we want to support those that want to be a part of this movement. Anyone that wants to be a part of Wikipedia, we welcome you. That's amazing. You know, before this, I obviously uh, looked you up on Wikipedia, um, and you had quite the career previous to Wikimedia with GE um, as the Director of Healthcare yeah. Programs in Africa and the Head of Women in Technology. So putting on your private sector hat for just one second, what? how do you think you would have reacted to this moment within the corporate world? Or what do you think that you should impart with all of our private sector leaders that are listening right now in this moment of trying to reckon with their business and also this uh, issue of systemic racism? So Kevin, here's the thing. I was at GE during um, a period of time when, black, first of all, when Black Lives Matter first became a global movement, uh, Trayvon Martin and other uh, horrific actions that had taken place in the world. And we did gather at, at GE, where I spent 16 years, had an amazing career there. We had um, affinity groups, and one of them was the African American Forum. And our then CEO gathered uh, a group of executive leaders that were Black across the organization during um, the onset of the Black Lives Matter movement. And we sat down and we talked about it. We talked about what it would mean in the the regions of the world where we had manufacturing facilities and employees, for example, large groups of black employees working in certain parts of the world where we thought maybe they might not be safe or or, or have a, a different type of experience depending on where they were living. And uh, so we did that. And it was really important to not just write statements, to, but to also be able to see how we could have an impact in the places where we worked, um, the the equity gaps that our organizations or our staff were feeling, not just in pay, but also in being able to be promoted and seen and valued and heard. And so uh, we did quite a bit and it was really about listening and then strategizing. So not presuming that you know what people need and what they're going to say, but really uh, doing some heavy, heavy listening, and then being willing to go back and strategize. And the most important piece is the time. This work takes time, and uh, you have to pay attention to it. You have to give it the time that it deserves. You have to uh, talk about it. You have to let it heal. And then you have to show good faith and and deliver some some strong changes. Um, And uh, I challenge uh, those of us in, in every sector to to put on these these big shoes and to walk in them and to you know to go at shoulder to shoulder with your staff with your community with your boards um, and with those that you trust your your customers and other parts of of your organization. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. We are out of time, but we will end on that challenge to everybody listening to engage in this way. Janine, thank you so much for your time today. Hey, thanks for having me. Hope we can do this again.